Okay, so there are a lot of things that I do not know anything about, but there are also a few things that I know very much about. And those are some of the things that I want to tell you about right now. Um, I'm a huge nerd when it comes to performance, understanding team performance, understanding organizational performance. So that's what I want to round off with and also talk about how, what kind of role people analytics play when it comes to that. So I've taken this uh, little model with me, the Tuckman model. How many of you have seen this one before? A few hands only. Okay. I think this is probably one of the most used models there in HR, at least, um, at least in Denmark. In theory, this is a very static model. In reality, it's very dynamic, and uh, I'll tell you why. So on one hand, we will have organizational performance. It would also be team performance. And in the bottom, we would have the different phases that every organization or every team goes through, right? And I'm showing you this model because in mobile pay right now, we are in the middle of a merger with a big company. Um, and some of our HR partners, they are extremely excited. Our attrition rate is now 6%. Three months ago, it was 15%. And by talking about this, you will probably understand why. So when we are being put into a new team, or a new organization with a joint venture, we will clearly be in the forming phase. In the forming phase, as you can see here, the performance is quite high. And the reason why it's high is because when we are being put into a new team or in a new organization with new team members, we want to make sure as individuals that we are doing the best we can. I do not want Rob to think that I'm incompetent or not doing a good enough job. So I'll make sure that I do anything that is possible uh, to deliver what's, what's on my plate, actually. But this is also what we call the honeymoon phase. So where there is a lot of artificial harmony within the organizations and within the teams. So I usually say this is where my girlfriend would love to go and watch me play amateur football on a Friday night. And I would think it was splendid going to Ikea on a Saturday morning, right? But things change, and they typically change after three months. So in mobile pay, we have a really strong people analytics unit. It's consisting of one person. The guy is called Stefan Sander. So we do not have you know, that much data to calculate on, but I have done some predictive analysis. And I can tell you that in half a year, the attrition rate will be incredibly high. Now it's 6%, but it's going to be incredibly high. And it's going to be high because we are going to enter the storming phase. So this is when we will start noticing behavior that we find annoying or frustrating, right? So it could be Saranda constantly interrupting me. It could also be Frederik showing up late for meetings. Um, we cannot settle the deals with IT. It could be many different things. This is what we start noticing in the storming phase. And there are so many organizations and teams that never leave this phase again. And they never leave it because they never talk about why they are in this phase. Danes in particular are extremely afraid of conflict. So are Finns. We also work with Lithuanians. They are much more direct. So if we never debate and have conflict about the things that are not working, we will stay in the storming phase. There are two things that can actually take an organization from the storming into the norming phase. It is to have clear goals, and it is to have clear ground rules of what we can expect from each other. So let's imagine that we, in nine months in mobile pay, we have a great purpose, we have some great goals. We also have some ground rules so we know what we can expect from each other, right? So if I show up late for a meeting, we have an agreement that I should tell Frederick because he's the meeting organizer. We have those ag agreements cleared, right? So we are on the way to becoming a real organization in the norming phase. Then something typically happens here between the norming and the performing phase. Any suggestions, any ideas of what might happen?
this is where the strategic workforce planning guys, they come into play and say, okay, we can see that we have one, one too many of software engineers in this team or in this department, and we're missing some over here. So what we start doing is actually changing the organization. And what do you think happens to the company or to the culture that we have? We go straight back on the slope. We have seen this a million times in Danske Bank. Um, it has been a big challenge. When we started doing behavioral analysis, we were sitting together with strategic workforce planning. And I can tell you it ended, it ended up in some super, super heated debates. Because what we believe in is that we need to have stable organizations and stable teams. And they wanted to move the resources back and forth. How does this fit in to people analytics? So people analytics does not look at the employee as a resource. People analytics look at the employee as a human being. And this is what's needed to mitigate how deep we go into the storming phase and for how long we will be there. In this phase, we ask questions based on data. We understand the root causes so we can actually build the best solutions. It takes one thing going from norming into performing. It's not related to productivity or efficiency. It's related to mutual accountability. And this is related to behavior. The hardcore Excel reporting cannot explain behavior. People analytics can help us a lot. So I know Rich said yesterday that you will probably not remember all the statistics. So what I have done instead is that I have, I want to end where I started basically. So hopefully you remember some of the words. So if your data is complex at the moment, make it simple, right? Because if your data is simple, people will understand it. And if people understand your data, they can use it. If they start using your data, we will generate value. The value is not in the data itself. The value is in the conversation that is based on the data. And that's just what I wanted to say. Uh, I think you have, have had a lot today, but this is really important. We all know that the foundation of the data should be in place, but we need to use the data to ask questions. This is why we are in this room. So it has been a pleasure hosting for you guys. Um, I'm also overwhelmed, but I know someone told me yesterday, you need to sleep on it and then it will sink in. And I hope some of the same things will do the, uh, it will do the same to you guys. So I just want to say thank you and a uh, huge thank you to the Hybrid guys and the Algorify guys for, uh, for making it as, as smooth as possible. I think this has been great. So um, thank you for this year's Nordic People Analytics Summit. I'm going to stay. Well, uh, is it officially a wrap? No. <laughs> uh, I, I got used to listen, so it feels much different uh, from the stage. But it, was, it has been two days, two awesome days of learning, knowledge sharing, networking, fun. I hope so as well, fun. <laughs> so thank you. Deepest thanks from us for joining, for taking your time, for sharing the knowledge. This was super, super great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, but but it's not over till it's over, right? <laughs> so we have some more things that we would like to share uh, with you for the end. Uh, the entire event will be available for replay uh, in the on-demand period for five weeks in the Agorify app. That's the beauty of the hybrid event. So if you miss the session, you can just go back to Agorify, log in and just click play and you basically, you will have all these brilliant sessions for, um, uh, for re-watching. 
The second thing is that we got a lot of requests for the slides and the materials that were shared from the speakers. So they, um, in each of the session description in Agorify, you will find the link that will take you to the PDF version of the slides. But please note that you will only have the slides of the speakers who have actually given us consent for the same. So thanks for your understanding. The third thing is that we will also send you a post-event survey link. So Please be frank, always honest. Um, tell us how to improve, what was good, what was not good. Let us do better next time. Um, also, um, there is a, can you, uh, awesome. So our colleagues from uh, Workday, they are organizing a free workshop on the 25th of May. Uh, you will find the link, uh, there is a discussion group created in Agorify in which you will find all the details of the same workshop. Uh, and also in the post-event survey, we will uh, provide the link for you. So it's free. It's um, uh, it's on the collaboration between HR and finance department and will be hosted by Workday. So thank you about that. And the best part, um, I don't really like goodbyes, but uh, it's when it's satisfying goodbye like, like this, it's, then it's cool. Uh, we never do things alone. Everything that we do is for the community, so it's a teamwork, um, and we really want to uh, take some round of applauses for all the people that help us do this, okay? First, thanks to all the partners for teaming up with us. Thanks to Workday, the co-host partner. Thanks to Vizier, Powered by Partner, Simpa, HiBob, and Slash BI. Please, a round of applause for all of them. Awesome. The brilliant speaker lineup. No words needed. Everything was really perfect. Thank you for selflessly sharing the knowledge. Um, it is really, really great to have you with us. Thank you for your time. Strong applause, please. <laughs> also, no delegates, no events. Huge thanks to everybody who was present during the two days, both online and on site. We managed to bring you together, which is super great feeling, okay? Hopefully next year there will be more and more people joining on site and online will of course be an option for those who will not be able to make it. Big thanks and applause for all the delegates. <laughs> and last but not, not least, a huge applause for this guy who has done an amazing, amazing job. Stefan, we are very thankful. You have been amazing on stage. Everybody said, um, and I'm being frank, really positive words. Thank you so much for your time, the knowledge, and I really hope to see you again here next year in Stockholm. Thank you so much. Yeah. And this is just like a small. Oh, nice. Yeah, just like a small, small thing from Perfect. us for all the Thank great you. work that you have done. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you, guys. So that was it. Thank you so, so much. I hope to see you again next year in a bigger number. Let's keep the story going on. Let's bring the community together. This should not be the end. Until the next time. Thank you. Thank you.